Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to Strategically Helpful. In today's video, I'm sharing how I decorated these two decorative gift jars for the shower steamers that I made in my previous video. Uh, so I'm gonna run down the supplies that are needed and then give you a quick overview of what goes into creating them. They're super simple. And the good news is that a lot of the supplies you can get from the Dollar Tree and you can either make them at home if you don't have a Cricut or you can also make them on your Cricut. If you do have a Cricut, then you can also print up these top tags that basically it looks like this when you print it up and when all is said and done, it cuts out your tags that look like this. Then you just fold them, full top here, and you glue this down onto a black circle that you print on your Cricut. And that is how you make the tags. I can't think of a way really efficiently to do this if you don't have a Cricut. So if you don't have a Cricut, what I would recommend is you could still probably find something to make the circles. Or if you have like a circle cutter, you could at least put black on there to kind of give it that like top hat kind of black look. And then I would just use an extra piece of yarn and tie on a little tag just to hang right here and use that as your gift tag. So those are my recommendations on how to do this pretty efficiently. So I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're interested in co more content on crafting, organizing, and general self-care. And then finally, if you have any questions for me or if I omitted anything in the instructions, please leave it in the comments below. Well, it really helps and I really do appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching and now let me get to the video. Okay, so you can make these jars whether or not you have a Cricut machine, but you do need some supplies. So for all of them, you're obviously gonna need your jars, you're gonna need the yarn, and then you're gonna need the vinyl. The distinction here is the one on the far left you can make by hand without having a Cricut because you're just going to cut the pieces out by hand. Um, you're going to cut out a black strip and then a little square and then another little square. And that's basically all you need. If you have a Cricut, you can go so far as to make the button out of the same black vinyl that you use for the belt. And then finally, for the snowman, if you don't want to deal with any vinyl, you can just buy two buttons and then just make the tags in whatever fashion you want. So three different options. To create the inside coloring of the jar, you're gonna use tissue paper. So I bought mine at the Dollar Tree. I got this red and sparkle tissue paper. And then for the snowman from last year, I used their white and sparkle tissue paper. So you can purchase it from anywhere. Then you're gonna need the vinyl. So I got this silver sparkly and this glossy black also from the Dollar Tree, but you can also purchase them from Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's. Next, we have the jars. These are from Target. They are the ball quilted pint jars. You get 12 to a package. I think they're under $14. Next, I have the buttons. I got this pack of 100 of half inch buttons off of Amazon. Next, you're gonna need the yarn. I got this from the Dollar Tree. For this year, last year for the red yarn, I think I got it at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. And then if you don't have a Cricut, you're gonna need a ruler and a pair of scissors. And for either with or without a Cricut, you're gonna need the glue stick. And if you do have a Cricut, then you can download this PDF of this tag that you can customize and then cut out the quantity that you desire. On your Cricut machine, you'll just have to upload the image and then you can interact with the image on your own Cricut design space. And then for either with or without a Cricut, this extra piece of paper will help if you want to cut out the supplies by hand, or if not, it also can be imported into Cricut and used as the outlines for the shapes to be used for the top of the can and the parts that would be cut out of vinyl and the circle that you'll wanna cut out of cardstock. So first you're gonna start with the red tissue paper and you're gonna cut it into strips to put the steamers into the glass jar. So first you're just gonna cut strips that are wide enough to kind of fold up along the sides of the steamer so that basically it will be entirely surrounded by red tissue paper when you put it down into the jar. So I had just a random sheet and I'm cutting it into three strips. And then I've got some thinner strips that I pre-cut and put into another jar when I was making a much smaller. So 
So I'm just gonna add a couple extra strips for just nice visual interest. And then I am going to fold the tissue paper up and around the steamer and then just drop it in and then rinse and repeat. And now on the last one, I'm just gonna kind of smush all of the surplus red paper down into the jar, kind of fill out the sides, and then replace the lid and replace, replace the ring. And I'm gonna grab one of the little black discs and put it down so that when I do make the tags, I can just glue them down with the glue stick and this jar is basically done. I don't need to touch it again. So next I'm making the little white scarf around the rim. I just have four strips of the yarn from the Dollar Tree. I spin it around just a little bit to keep it all kind of entangled so that they don't separate. And then we're just gonna tie it in a knot. And once I get it tied, I will kind of pull the strands to kind of make sure that they sit nice and kind of all fall down rather than being all askew. So next I'm gonna glue down the black button using the glue stick glue. It dawned on me after I did this that it would have been smarter to do this step last, especially if you're using a more uh, gooey, like viscous glue because you have a higher likelihood that your button's gonna slide around when you're you know, moving the jar around to add your vinyl. So um, I do make it a point to align my button up and down vertical so that the holes are going vertical. Uh, and that's what I like about the glue stick glue is you can kind of still adjust it, but it'll stay in place um, and I have it on hand. Next, I'm gonna attach the black vinyl for the belt. If you're cutting this by hand, you'll use my little guide here and it tells you the measurements. And if you do have a Cricut, you can print out however many strips you need. I'm making about 40 of these jars, so I printed quite a few. And then I will just peel off the strip place it below the smooth part of the jar. What's great about the Dollar Tree vinyl is that it's not super sticky, so it's pretty easy to adjust if you need to. And then next on the sparkly page, I'm taking the squares that I cut out uh, on my Cricut, and you can see it's just that full square there. If you really wanna be extra, you could do the design up top, but I was not trying to cut a lot and weed out all the extra parts from my Cricut. So I just went with the square. And then the last thing, this is where the big distinction between using a Cricut or not. I would think it would be really challenging to cut out that little notch. So if you don't wanna cut out that notch as without a Cricut, just cut across and leave that little white part in so that it's a perfect square. And then you're just going to use a little bit of that glue stick and glue it right down. Even though it is adhesive, I do use uh, the glue stick. And then lastly, I just glue on the tags after I print them on cardstock. And there you have it. That's how you make the decorative Christmas jars. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.